Hey, I'm David with a nonprofit ministry called Spoken Gospel, and today's verse is Matthew 6 3, which says, But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Now, this warning comes from Jesus' Sermon on the Mount, where he talks in depth about how those who follow after him can actually fulfill the law's commands by obeying God from the heart. And here, Jesus is talking about almsgiving or giving to the needy. You see, poverty in Jesus's day was widespread and severe. So giving to the poor wasn't just part of keeping God's law. It was actually common practice for those who had the means. But many people, which Jesus calls hypocrites here, gave only to get. They would make sure people knew about their gifts so that they might be honored and respected. But Jesus says that if you give only to get the praise of others, then it has no value in God's eyes. Instead, Jesus encourages us to give out of love for others, not out of concern for self. And now this will often express itself in secret giving, making sure no one knows that you have given. But Jesus says God knows and God will reward a generous heart. The expression then, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, is a metaphor for the kinds of givers God loves to reward. They not only keep their gifts secret from others, but they even keep them secret from themselves. Which doesn't mean that you have to try to forget every gift you've ever given, but that your giving isn't done for yourself. You don't give to be self-congratulatory or self-righteous or self-justifying. You, you don't give so you can secretly pat yourself on the back. You give out of love. And this kind of giving was ultimately seen in the cross. Jesus richly and generously gave his own body and blood for us on the cross. He was not praised for this gift publicly. Instead, he was publicly humiliated. And he did not offer his body as a sacrifice to justify himself, but to justify us. And he did it all for us freely out of love. 